I'm going to call this meeting to the order. This is a Livingston Parish Council meeting, June 8th. Uh, Mr. Tablo Bell, do you have some more to do indications? Yes, sure do. Uh, Everyone, please rise. Pastor uh, Richard Sandberg, he's from the Baptist Church in Springfield, First Baptist in Springfield. He's uh, He was very active during the flood time, really brought community together, stepped up, did a lot of things to keep things rolling. Uh, wasn't, wasn't waiting for someone to come to him. He was going and looking for what he could do to get involved. And, man, it was a, he's a good guy. I'm glad to have him here tonight. <clears throat> Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you this evening thanking you for the opportunity to be able to come and to do the business of our community. Uh, Lord, I thank you for each of our leaders. Uh, we ask that you would give them courage to make right and wise decisions. Uh, we ask that you would lead them uh, to live out lives of moral character and that you would give them the wisdom to make the hard decisions and ones that would bring blessing and prosperity to our area. Lord, we thank you and we praise you and pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Please place the flag. Mr. Bubba Harris, can you lead us? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Andy, you can call roll, please. Mr. King. Move it on up. Mr. King. Mr. King. Here. Mr. Harris. Here. Mr. Talbert. Here. Mr. Lovell. Here. Mr. Averett. Here. Mr. Mike. Here. Mr. R. Here. Mr. Wasco. Here. Mr. Gurlinghouse. All right. Uh, I'd like to remind everyone, if you have a cell phone, please turn it off and put it on silent. Uh, also, uh, public input, uh, when we come to an item, if you wish to address it, just uh, come to the podium, give us your name, your address, and we'll allow you time to speak. We don't have any presentations. All right, I need a uh, motion to accept the minutes for May 25th regular meeting of the council. I'll make that motion. My motion by Mr. King, second by Mr. Harris. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Number nine, uh, Katie and Amlitz, uh, Mr. Dwayne Mesh. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm before you tonight. It's our annual visit just to uh, get approval for permit for operation. I've uh, submitted the permit packet to Ms. Sandy earlier during the week and uh, a whole lot, all the stuff that we had in there, uh, we had the opportunity to go through, and we just request to uh, be permitted to operate again for another year. Make a motion we renew the permit for another year. I'll second it. With the Katie and ambulance. I'll second it. Motion by Mr. Washington. I appreciate all y'all do for the parish, too. Thank you. Seconded by Mr. Aver. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. The other uh, part that uh, we have, we have to come before you to ask permission to uh, run, conduct our annual membership drive. Uh, it gives us the ability to uh, give affordable ambulance care to those who are Medicare and Medicaid recipients uh, by purchase of membership. The Medicare recipient, their co-pays can be waived and uh, that covers the family. And uh, we uh, have submitted the surety bond and all, all the other qualifications in your packet also included uh, the, the benefits for the membership and uh, some general information about it. I request that you allow us to uh, conduct our annual membership drive as well. Is there a motion? Yeah, I'm a, I'll make a motion on that. Uh, <coughs> motion by Mr. King to... I'll second it. Accept the annual membership drive, second by Mr. Waskin. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you, Dwayne. All right, we will now uh, open in a public hearing. Uh, we're going to go uh, 
You want to do 10 through 13 all together? Uh, Ms. Sandy, would you please read item 10? Adopt LP ordinance number 17-20. Mr. Wayne. Right. It's Jim here. Yeah. Yep, there he is. I didn't see him. Ooh, you yep. want to read it, Mr. Jim? Come on up. This sounds good. He was hiding from us back there. <laughs> Jeff saw me. He just slipped in. <laughs> In order to authorize the parish of Livingston, state of Louisiana, to proceed with not to exceed two million financing through the Louisiana Local Government Environmental Facilities and Community Development Authority. Authorizing and ratifying the Parish of Livingston's request for the Louisiana Local Government Environmental Facilities and Community Development Authority to issue its revenue bonds authorizing the borrowing by the Parish of Livingston of the proceeds from the sale thereof, approving and ratifying within certain parameters the terms of the sale of the bonds authorizing the form and execution of the loan agreement, authorizing the form and execution of an agreement for the purchase of the bonds and ancillary financing documents and otherwise providing with respect to their two. Awesome. What does that say? <coughs> He's good at that. Either. What you said. <laughs> there was one um, minor change by the ordinance that was introduced by title only um, in that uh, we added a reference to the state law that allows you to do a local services agreement because there will be a local services agreement between Parish and Rec District Number Two, which is the same thing we had the last time. Right? Same exact thing. The only thing, the only thing that changed in the ordinance, and again, that ordinance was only introduced by title, so it's really not even necessary. But the only, the 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 only change was is we in the original ordinance we said there's going to be a local services agreement between Rec Two and the parish. We simply added a reference to the state law that provides for the use of the local services. Okay. And Sandy called a typo. And change the word effect from from effect to effect. I'd like to make a motion. Okay. Oh, nope, not yet. No, not yet. Any comment from the public? Any comment from the council? All right. Thank you. Thank y'all very much. Can I make a motion now? Nope. We're closed. Public hearing. We're gonna do all of them. We'll do all. Oh, of I got you. Right. Calm down, here. Calm down. All right. Uh, you don't understand this, Sandy? <laughs> please read uh, number eleven. This will be proposed on seventeen dash twenty one. This is an ordinance revoking a forty foot right away between lot twenty eight and thirty eight Wild with subdivision in the second aisle and located in section forty seven T six S R three E Winston Parish Lieutenant in favor of the land owner. Any more particular described on the attached plot? Do you have any comment from the audience? Comment from the council? All right, we'll move on to uh, item number 12. Sandy, could you please read that? Yes. This is proposed ordinance 1723. This is an ordinance to amend Chapter 11, Offenses, Miscellaneous, Article 1, General of the Code of Ordinances of Lewis Parish by adding Section 11-3.1, Prohibition of Firearms, Designation of Firearm-Free Zones. Any comment from the public? Comment from the council? I have someone. Yeah, again, I just want to remind everyone that this is strictly dealing with the Sheriff's Office of the courthouse only. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not a gun-free zone for public parish buildings mm -hmm. or, or or parish mm -hmm. property. This is dealing with strictly the courthouse the where there's armed sheriff deputies there constantly all the time. So I just want to remind everyone of that. Not needed here. All right. Nah. <laughs> that that was actually item thirteen. Right. So we're going to go back now and read item 12. Yeah, I can't find it. I mean, um, the, item 12 is uh, ordinance 17-22. There were copied together. Yeah, I see it. They're, they're bleeding on top of one. Another. I'm sorry. Sorry. There's read it to it. We got the original. <clears throat> used. So, 12, is that right? It's 17-22. Uh, mm -hmm. 
planning and development? Yeah, that's Mr. Bond. Okay, this is proposed ordinance 17-22 and Chapter 13, planning and development by adding section section 13-46.1, prohibitions and restrictions of use of the code of ordinances and for the parish of any comment from the public? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, my name is Nancy Kimball, and I currently live in Sheree Place subdivision, but my question is about property that I own in Durango Estates. My concern, I watched the last meeting, um, my concern is the, the wording on this particular ordinance. If your, if your name subdivision already allows for mobile homes, is that going to interfere with anything? What's the question? Can you talk a little loud? I didn't, I didn't hear the question. Yes, if, if, the, if it's a name subdivision that allows mobile homes. It already has mobile homes. You know, if it, if, it's, if, for the per, if, if, it, uh, if it was designed and developed and the purpose was to allow the mobile homes, the answer is yes. Okay, but does the ordinance state that? Because it, it's very vague I'm from so what, what she just read. Doesn't the ordinance say stick bill? Does the, does say, the ordinance, is the word in our packet? Because I can't. No, it's not in there. Okay. Then I'm going to have to go off of memory. I, I'm going to read it for you. I'm okay. Exactly what it says. It's just a little short paragraph. Um, and, we and we had Mr. Chris's help on this, so to give right. the right wording. It's for prohibitions and restrictions of use, it shall be unlawful for a person to reside in or use as a residence or to rent out to another person a mobile manufactured home in an established dedicated name subdivision or newly developed name subdivision that has been accepted by the parish previously for the intent of on-site custom-built single-family dwelling homes. So, Chris, does that mean if, let's say we've got a subdivision that was originally designed for houses, and they've moved trailers in there, would that subdivision then become exempt? Well, <clears throat> that's a good question. Um, generally, you are allowed to stop practice. You can't make that practice generally apply to existing uses. Just like a, a community or a city can say, we don't want any more bar rooms in the city limits. We don't want any more strip clubs in the city limits. You can't put anybody out of business, but you can uh, stop others from coming. So are you opening yourselves up to some litigation from somebody who says, wait, it's not fair. They let all these other trailers in and they won't let me in. So there's some exposure for that. But if what you're acting on is pr promotes a good health and or promotes the general welfare of the community and protects property interests, et cetera, I think you, you're defensible by making those rules apply. You can even make certain rules apply retroactively. For instance, if you decide you've got to upgrade your sewer systems by X number of years because it's just not, it's not safe anymore. We've learned we have to do that. So things like that, you can apply retroactively, but it has to have an appropriate, you know, health safety purpose. Okay. So, so, so to me, you ask yourself two questions. Number one is, is it a name subdivision? If the answer is yes, then you have to ask the second question. Was it intended and designed and was the purpose to allow mobile homes to be in there? If the answer is yes, then yeah, you can put it in there. And the answer is no, then no, you can't. Thank you. Even if there's mobile homes already in there, and I'm pretty sure the mobile homes were allowed to go in there. Um, well, I mean, Chris, Chris might have a better answer to this, but to me, you're going to have to prove with some kind of documentation, you know, maybe it's the plat or maybe recorded restrictions or whatever, what the intended purpose was when it was originally designed or developed. And the other question that I have about that, if there, that particular name subdivision has restrictions, do y'all normally enforce subdivision restrictions and make rules on those? Nope. No. Nope. Do, you consider, do you consider this enforcing subdivision restrictions? No. What we're trying to do here, the intent and purpose right here, is to protect the value of the property of, for individuals that purchase property in a <clears throat> subdivision and, uh, you know, that was for custom-built houses. And uh, that, that's, that, that was the intent right there. I, I think that part of the intent is 
I, I can't speak for everybody. My intent, or what I, what the reason I'm supporting it, is that you've seen the past history of a subdivision, and the subdivision starts becoming older, and 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 you get one vacant lot in there, and then all of a sudden somebody moves a trailer, and it changes the whole makeup of a subdivision. And then there are people who are who are there that are stuck because they're they're they don't have the financial means to move, or they're, 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 they've lived there so long and they're up in age and they don't have the ability to move. So consequently, well, I think what, what the, my intent or, or, or my reason for supporting it to, is to- interject to, right there. I think what you're trying to say is they don't have the financial ability to hire an attorney to act on a civil suit. So that's why y'all are trying to- We're, we're, we're trying to, we, we are, we're trying to protect some of our constituents, no doubt about so it. So in other words, you're trying to do set division restrictions. We, 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 we no. probably, we probably, we probably, if truth be known, if we had zoning, we would probably enforce subdivision restrictions at the permit office level. We don't have that ability right now. But we do know that there's a problem with people moving in trailers and established subdivisions. And so we're trying to correct that problem. Yes, I just want to make sure that the property that I own in Durango Estates that has houses and mobile homes in it and has since the time I got it. Can I still move mobile homes in there? That's yeah. my only concern. If I'm not able to, there will be a problem because it is. I mean I, I think given what given what given what this ordinance says and what our parish what our parish attorneys told us that that at this point in time if this ordinance passed, then probably Durango Estates you probably couldn't move a trailer. Probably could not. You have to. Probably could not. You'd have to come before the. You'd have to come before and try to get a waiver to to to, to bet that allowed. Now, that's something this council might want to consider in the future is is and I don't, we don't have the time to do it tonight, but we might want to identify every subdivision that, that this thing applies to. Right. I mean, we don't. I don't think we have the time to do that tonight, mm -hmm. but you know, it might be a. It might be some amendment we want to attach to it later. But I think if we pass this ordinance tonight, then the question, the answer would be. No, you couldn't move a trailer in Durango well, Estate. Do you do you know what the intent and purpose was? I mean, is there is there recorded documentation that says that I'm you, sure, but you should not put a mobile home in there? Um, there, if it's not, if the law's been broke many years ago, there's probably maybe three houses in the rest mobile homes. So just with the vagueness of the ordinance, I wanted to make sure that I understand because I have plans on moving a mobile home on this property. And this will will hinder that, uh, just because but it, somebody's. But right now, you don't know if the intended purpose of that subdivision was for mobile homes or not. Is that, um, is that I think it was for single family homes, but I don't did single family structures. I don't think it necessarily says. And you'll you'll be homes. good to go. Well, that's why I think if we pass this tonight, <clears throat> those instances that do come up, we can make it like Gary said. We can make a waiver on it based on what your information you find out is. Or, or, or whoever needs to find it out. It's, it's not to stop right. what you're talking about. That's not the intent of it, but it, it would fall under that, so you would have to come and show us. I don't want it to accidentally fall under that, under just behind well, the board. Well, I mean, I, can, I, I, don't know, I, I don't know how many lots are in Durango Estates, and I can't speak to the rest of the council, but if you had a 30 lot subdivision and 10% of them were houses and 90% and, and of them were trailers, and I would think that that think that, that subdivision would it would yeah. be easy. Right yeah. across the street, they there's a company that went before planning board, and they just put a sign up. They divided the lot, the the track of land into six lots. They went before didn't even have to go before planning because it was under a certain amount of lots. The sign stayed up there a certain amount of times. Now the, that gentleman has moved a total of four trailers in there. So this, I mean, there's people before. Well, then, then, then probably, then probably this ordinance wouldn't apply to that. I just would like for y'all to make sure that y'all please uh, put some language in there that if mobile homes are in there already, uh, I understand. I, I, matter of fact, I feel the pain because in my subdivision, I live in Charay Place. There is nothing but houses. However, in the very back of my subdivision, I went to a garage sale. Boom! In the backyard, there was a mobile home in the backyard. And to my dismay, I was very upset because I went in debt buying that property in Durango Estates to put a mobile home because I couldn't put my mama's trailer in my backyard. Now here somebody is back on Ray Drive with a trailer in their backyard. But did I say anything? 
live and let live, whatever. Maybe everybody has different <coughs> circumstances. But I have property where there's mobile homes and constantly being subdivided. We're put six on the same acre track that I own. And I just want to make sure that I'll be able to put. Well, I, I, that's what we're saying. The intent, we, we wouldn't change it tonight, but we, if we passed it tonight, we could amend this with different wording lighter, right, right Shane? If, yes, sir. If we see that it needs it. Uh, but, 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 but based on what you're saying is if... if, if yeah, I mean, if, if it's mostly trailers. If it's mostly trailers, you're not going to have an yeah, issue. Yeah, you wouldn't have... You're probably not going to have an issue. Yeah. Because it's full of trailers. We'll saying. see when it's time to go put it on there, I guess. We'll see. see, what we're trying to stop is... Well, if it is somebody in your own stuff. And, and I one trailer. That. And hopefully... hopefully and that's what we're trying to stop. And I'm for that. However, this language, I wanted to make sure that it doesn't... Well, the thing places. is, there's never a one-size-fits-all ordinance. I mean, it's always going to need a, a, a waiver-type system. We somewhere. hate to do waivers, but you do, to keep it simple enough, you, you know, you could have an ordinance that's long. I'm trying, it's still I'm not trying to figure out how they put six lots on a one-acre you know, lot. I'm trying to do. No, it's not a one. It's almost a three-acre lot. Okay. They yeah, all right. That makes, I understand yeah. how that works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so and I, own, have, I own almost three acres Okay, I got as well you. across the street. Okay. And this particular company that they're doing it all over the place. They're just putting signs up. They're doing just the amount of numbers that they don't have to come before y'all, which is legal. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with it done across the street. It looks good. I just wanted to make sure that I'm not hindered from doing. Do you right. remember what the name of that company was? No. Poor something I want to say, but um, that, don't hold me to that. Okay. Which district is this up? Is that in yours, Gary? I let Frog is. She lives in Sarek places in yeah. my Sotheby's. Okay. But um, Chance Parent used to be where this property uh, Durango is. Right. So yeah. Durango Estates would be. Yeah. For Jeff. Yeah. So. I, I, mean, I, I personally think you're going to be fine. You have that many trailers in there already. Yeah. Well, then you would you would go to him and ask yeah. him to to ask for a waiver in him. So I, you know if he's saying it, then that's his. Yeah. And, that's, and look, I, I do believe that there are there. I don't want to stop this tonight, but we really do need to sit down and come up with a list. Every councilman ought to figure out what subdivisions in your district need to need this needs to apply to. Maybe we could get maybe somebody from the first administration to do that for us. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you pointing? <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, I'm just, I'm just telling you. I mean, you know, you know, you're just. You know what? That's a good right. idea, and we'll do that. And maybe we, we add and subtract to that list. We make it easy to add. And I mean, subtract I, I do, list. but I, I think, I think, I think this ordinance, as it's written tonight, needs to be passed. But I think we need to, I think we need to consider identifying yes. what those older subdivisions are. Sounds great. And also considering if you are really trying to enforce subdivision restrictions. Mm -mm. No, nope. nope. we're not getting into that. This is just strictly about. I got a different viewpoint, but I'm I'm well in the majority minority of that thing. I can take. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, you're <laughs> not. Thank you. Thank you, man. I'm boring. Yeah. All right, we need to uh, close the public hearing now. I make a motion. Close the motion. Motion by Mr. Watson. Second by Mr. Keen. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed. All right. Now we need to. Can I make a motion now? Now we can make a motion. <laughs> yeah. uh, you need to do them all at once. No. No, because we're going to have to a motion to amend. Right. I mean, that's, okay. So I'll make a motion to amend that ordinance to include the the reference to the local services law, and then to. Change the wording of effect to affect. Is that all I need to do? Yes, sir. All right. That's the motion I'd like to make. Uh, motion, Mr. Talbot. Second for Mr. Harris. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Now. Now. Motion to accept as amended. That would be you again. Uh, motion to accept as amended. I'll make that motion. Motion by Mr. Talbot. Second by Mr. Harris. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. All right. And we can do the other three all together. Are we doing individually? Yeah. Yep. All 
All right, just fine. Uh, I'm going to give me a motion to accept number item 11. I'll make a motion. Motion by Mr. Avery. Second. Second by Mr. Mack. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Uh, motion to accept item number 12. Amend chapter planning and development. Chapter 13. Motion to do that? I'll make, I'm, I'm, I'll make that motion. Motion by Mr. Watson. I'll that, second. Second that, by that, Mr. Mack. You got anything to say, John? No, that's for the actually that's order. Far on. Yeah. No. Number this, twelve. This, this is for the ordinance. This is for that prohibits. That's your trailer. That's, that's your trailer. That's your trailer. That's your trailer. I'll make that motion. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Got a motion right. by Mr. Wasson, a second by Mr. Mack. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion passed. <clears throat> All right, I need a motion to accept item 13, firearm free zone. I'll make that motion. Motion by Mr. Mack. I'll second. Second by Mr. Talbot. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. All right, we'll move on to item 14, parish president report. Got anything? Nope. Uh, Sam? Nope. I don't know if Mr. Sam has anything, but I think if this is regarding the uh, for item A, it's the Livingston okay. Parish okay. Airport okay. District Report. Is that what you're referring to? Well, that's under the Parish President's Report, Livingston Parish Airport District Report. Uh, Ms. We have someone to speak on that? If, if, if she, the chairman is a chairperson. I know they had a, a meeting tonight for the commission, and, and sounds right. pretty positive. So. It does. Thank you, Mr. Ard and Council. Um, uh, my name is Delia Taylor. I'm chairman of the Livingston Parish Airport District. wanted to report to you tonight that we had put out a request for qualifications about a month ago, advertised to receive an aviation engineer to uh, enter into a contract with them to oversee the construction of the Livingston Regional Airport. And today, our uh, district voted to accept the proposal of Michael Baker International out of their Baton Rouge office. We'll be working with them over the coming days to finalize that agreement. Just so you'll know the way this agreement will work is it'll be a master contract and it will oversee the entire scope of the work, but there will not be any financial obligation on behalf of the parish. Not until funding comes available will the, we then let out a task order, if you will, for that job to be done, and it will be done in that phase. But in order to receive the funding that we need to pay for this, we needed a master contract that would cover all of that, that the Department of uh, Transportation, and in particular the Aviation Department, would recognize. We're very excited about uh, working with Michael Baker. We're very excited about our negotiations with the Aviation Division of DOTD. Um, they have allocated some money for us in the coming fiscal year and um, as of right now there is money in House Bill 2 capital outlay funds thanks to Senator Dale Erty uh, for working those in um, that would give us additional funds so we are moving forward on it we're very excited about it I just wanted to give you a report tonight and let you know that um, it's going to become a reality thank you Comments from the council on that? They're moving along. That's a good thing. You'll be flying right. out there for long. <laughs> All right. Item 15, uh, Office of Homeland Security. I don't think there's anything. I thought Mr. Mark, Mark said he didn't have anything. I said, boy, people are going to say you ain't well, working. Item 16, Planning no, no. Commission, Mr. Sound, he's around the mode. Wake up, Mr. Sound. Wake up. <laughs> okay, guys, first on the agenda is a commercial project, Louisiana Tool and Die. Uh, this is in Mr. Jeff R's area, uh, Weiss Road. It's a recommendation of the Livingston Parish Planning Commission to approve the preliminary plat for the Louisiana Tool and Die. I'll make that motion. That we motion to accept by Mr. Accept. Mack. Second. Second by Mr. Watson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. 
Next on the agenda is a uh, servitude revocation. This has been tabled and will have to go back to the Planning Commission and um, then on to you guys later on. Same thing for the next one, uh, Derek and Miss Erica Asney. This is a servitude revocation and it also was tabled and it'll go back to the Planning Commission and then on to you. Next on your agenda is a resub, Mr. Brad Marcott Construction, LLC. This is in Mr. Scooter King's district. Uh, it is a recommendation of the Livingston Parish Planning Commission to approve the resub for Brad Marcotti's construction, LLC. Yeah, I'll make a motion to accept that. Motion by Mr. King, seconded by Mr. Avery. Oh. He beat y'all. Oh, it don't matter. <laughs> All in favor? Uh, 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Next on the agenda is a minor resub. This is by Walker Properties LLC. This is in Mr. Bubba Harris's district off of Brown Road. It is a recommendation of the Livingston Parish Planning <coughs> Commission to approve the minor resub for Walker Properties LLC with the request to do a drainage study on the so called resub. All right. And we have some. Comments, council, and I might comment to you guys that we, Bubba and I, has talked about it. It was in detail. This, these guys, uh, this this development was. I mean, they met all the requirements. It was just a few concerns by people around the neighborhood, and so we brought it to the planning commission for discussion. So, my main thing is in this resub. The resub is for mobile homes to go there, correct? Well, I can't answer that, Bob. I don't know that for a fact. I don't know that for a fact. If I had to guess, I'd probably say yes. But as far as knowing that, I don't know. Okay. I'm, I'm going to make a motion not to accept it. I, I got a couple of questions. Just, just I'll second his motion. Before we... Does anybody have anything that they wanted to speak on on this? All right. Come, come on up. State, state your name. Name's Ray Reed. I live on uh, one one two five Brown Road on lot number two, which is next door to lot number three, which is talked about being subdivided. And first thing I can tell you, I object to it. I've been there, living there over 30 years. And this is a nice area to live in, which I raised my children here. And doing something like this is really gonna change that area. Because most of the residents that are here tonight, and they're all right back here, Y'all raise your hand if you know it. Have great concerns of the impact on how it will change or possibly could change our area right there and, and just in the Brown Road acres. And as y'all have on y'all desk, a restrictive convent that was drawn up you should have a copy. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I was looking at. I mean, it's in the restrictions that says that the lots have to be, have to front the road. I mean, is that... I mean, I know we ain't in the we, 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 we cannot con control the we, we don't force that's I know, I'm just saying it. the intent there was to not subdivide unless you fronted the road. So, yeah, that's a good I know example. we're not enforcing that, I'm just saying. Well, it also says that they cannot be resubdivided. No, it says you can resubdivide as long as you, you front the road and it's 125 feet, right? Or wrong? No lot shall be resubdivided or divided in any dimension. That's Other than 125 foot on the road front, it's right. less than 25,000 square feet. Well, these are about 16, right. 18,000 square feet, that's, correct? That's right. I mean, I was just... But that's, that's a several that matter. That's not our mind. I agree. I just want to make sure that was pointed uh, out. Is that correct, Chris? I mean, yes, sir. I, we, we don't need to get into We cannot get into that. I agree. You know, now, if we want to deny it for whatever reason we find, I guess it's our prerogative. But uh, for those reasons, we, you know, 
Well, Bubba, you tell us. I mean, well, he has a motion. I mean, yeah, to deny it. And, and you have you have anything else you want to say on this? Or? Chris, where do we stand on this deal? Well, I mean, here's a speech I give every time something like this comes up. I mean, it is the obligation of the Planning Commission to make sure that whatever is proposed meets the ordinance. If it meets the ordinance, generally they're going to approve it. And the council has some discretion about approving things. But generally, if a development meets your ordinance and you let other people do the same thing, then you have to let these people do it. So uh, if it doesn't meet your ordinance or there's some other good reasons why it doesn't, then you have some discretion hey, so they're on this brown estate which i assume is a 30 acre is a third how many lots in this original development i believe there's 66 66 lots has, 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 have any of those i think it was 35 in the first phase and it includes the lot have there been any subdivided before not come on no no so of the original 35, there's been subdivisions again, or of the original second phase, there's been subdivisions? Can we rephrase that question? I just want to make sure we're clear. Has any been re-subdivided that did not front the road and meet? I'm just asking. Say that again, James. Has any been re-subdivided and not met the road where they put a servitude down one of those lots? That would be the, the big question. You know, did they run them long I mean, ways like that with a servitude, or did they take a wide line? You, yeah, you got them. They run them long ways with the servitude going down the side the part. Is that what you asked? No, I'm asking. Yeah, has it happened before? Not to my knowledge. Now, Raymond says yes, and, and yeah, there's a lot of so I don't know that. It, I don't think it came on the island. You want to come, come, come tell oh, Yeah, get him up there. Yeah, let's, let's hear him. We'll come back. Appreciate it. <clears throat> I don't have it. I'm Raymond Mullins with McLean Taylor. Um, there have been lots in there subdivided. I, I don't have the exact dates, and I didn't write them all down, but uh, but there is some, and they all don't front the road. Uh, lot six is one of them. Well, now, um, lot six is in a corner, Raymond. Am I correct? How uh, would you subdivide lot six where it didn't touch the road? That's what he was saying. It didn't touch the road. That's just the way I look at it. Six is one that's cut off up there in the corner. Yeah. 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 Right, right here. Perfect. Oh, it's brown. Oh, it's easy. It's I don't see like the corner one. lot. It's at the end of the subdivision. No. I mean, was it cut in half or was it cut? I think it was three or four. I just, I don't, I didn't know this was going to come up. But, <laughs> but, I got you. But I made a list. Just seeing if there was some done, and I, I mean, I would imagine five, somewhere, you know, half dozen or less probably were decided. I got another question too. The motion is to approve it with with the uh, gravity drainage study. A drainage study. Okay. Can we can we hold off on this until we get the results of the study, or can't do that? Wait, if we. Does not pass tonight. There's no need for a study. Make them spend any money. Okay. Yeah. Bubba's, Bubba's motion is to, to, to not approve. To right. deny. And John second. <clears throat> is this a name subdivision? Can we yeah. state what we're denying? Approval of the resub. To request. To deny the minor resub, correct? That's right. what we're denying. That's what, motion, that's what Bubba's, Bubba's motion is to deny. Bubba's motion is to deny. Bubba's motion is to deny. And I just want to go on record and let you know that you know the client did follow the ordinance at the time that uh, they started this project. So okay. appreciate it, man. All right. Go for it. All right. Did you have other words you want to speak about? No. Finish. Just you done? Let us know. I mean. Okay. No words. And also, we have a, uh, another neighbor. He could not be here today, Mr. Billings. He lives on uh, lot number four, which is the other side of three. His wife is terminally ill, and he wanted to be here, but he couldn't be here. I don't know if it's out of line. Can I say anything on his behalf? He's not here. Sure. Yes. Have a guardian yeah. acted on the matter? You can. Okay. You're speaking for all the residents there. So. Okay. He's totally against this project because as we were in the planning meeting last night, from the way I understand it, 
they're talking about developing a little road frontage which lines the whole side of his property which is going to run on the side of his house. So, you know, the impact on that is, you know, traffic coming could come in and out of there any time of day or night. And there's a few other people that live right across from it on lot 9 and 10, and the rate, way that road's going to face, you know, they're going to have headlights in their house all night, if, you know, whenever they come in and out. The main thing is the impact on myself, which I'm on lot number two, is I don't know how they're going to develop this property, or they're going to build it up and leave me in a water hole with no water to drain, which we have problem with already. And of course, with the school, I'm sure all of y'all heard many a times, Brown Road has a very bad traffic situation in the morning with the school buses and everybody going back there. And this would just be kind of adding to it. And so, and I'm sure there's more I could say on this. And that's about all I okay. had to say. Thanks. Does anybody else have anything they'd like to say? Sir, you have to come up to your name. Thank you. My name is John Anderson. I live 11215 Brown Road, across the street from this so called development here. I understand no ordinances, no, she's a mess and all that, but everyone there is on an acre of land or better, been there for over 25 years, and like this covenant says, it says no commercial. Stuff should be there. And that was one of the reasons we bought this property, to be assured there'd be no commercial development in this area. And we would all like to keep it that way. So, uh, totally against this, as I said, for the stated reason, uh, there's no drainage along Brown Road. They just dig the ditches, ditches deeper. You know, so there's no drainage through there at all. It all flows across the road onto my property into the ditches back behind me. So, uh, Yes, we'd like to keep it one acre lots, not subdivided. Thank you. Thank you. Property values at the same time. We're trying to just now get into what a property's worth a little something. Now they want to subdivide it all up and bring the property values down. I'm against that. Thank you. So Chris, your opinion is that the council has discretion to do what they need to do? Yeah, you have discretion. I mean, it certainly helps solidify your position if you can give a rational reason why you're treating this development other than others you know so for instance you well, say this it's is the only time it's come up i mean <laughs> just because look, people are against it is not a satisfactory well, I, mean, reason. I guess the reason i'm saying i mean i've seen baton rouge with a with a you know with a master plan deny zoning or deny a permit on a piece of property that was actually being done for what it was zoned for right because of community right you know, uh, they are zoning out so, uh, they usually have some discretionary things like leaving up, up to the council and the planning commission some discretion about uh, size and spacing and density and things like that. We don't have anything like that in right. So uh, if you're telling me it's because uh, traffic and you can justify that, that's a valid rational reason. If you tell me it's because the the drainage or sewage or, or whatever else, it, you, you, it's best if you have a good rational basis for the denial. And Sam, has the has the has the elevation in that area changed over the from the from the initial? I mean, I, Kristen, do you know? I, I do not know. This, the size of this or what it's that's a million dollar question. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess, my point is, my point is, are we looking at acre of land that to develop it? You've got to bring in a bunch of dirt that would negatively impact your neighbors. We don't have any idea because under the current rules, a no drainage impact study is done. But it's obvious that if you're if you're going to build four residences on a place that's developed was designed for one, and you've got to elevate it, then you're going to have a negative impact on your neighbor's drainage. It's very possible because didn't it change the elevation change in 2012? I think that would be the best reason for turning this down is that they yeah. are going to have to raise that property to put whatever on it. Yeah. The there's there's just about no way around it. And if there's nowhere for it to run except so in your neighbors, that's not acceptable. Right. I think we can we definitely can deny it on that reason. You know, we don't we don't we don't know what the impact of the uh, drainage study is because we don't have one done yet. So couldn't we deny it? 
uh, based on that. I mean, we, we don't know how it's going to affect it. could be detrimental to the nation. Well, this guy got a call. Yeah, call. Yeah, yeah, man, Bubba's already got, got <laughs> Bubba's already called. And you got to say this gentleman here. And let's, let, let's let this gentleman right here speak. I think he's the last one. My name is Michael Wyatt, uh, 11444 Brown Road. It's my property that it backs up to. I have some uh, pictures I drew up here that speaks to what y'all are talking about with the drainage issue. I show uh, on here where I currently have standing water from this previous uh, rain that we got earlier this week and where standing water normally stands for several weeks after a rain. And I believe that them coming in and building up this lot would just exasperate that situation. We would continue to push water into those low areas onto my property, onto the surrounding property, as you heard from everybody else. I'm not going to echo their points. I totally agree with their points. I do rise in opposition to it. Uh, my number one issue is with the drainage and then with the ODAD system uh, from four residents being there. Where is that going to run to? Uh, I work in a plant. We deal with wastewater treatment. When we send it back to the river, I guarantee it's cleaner than when it comes out of a MODAD system that's put in the ground. However, I do not want to be waiting in it. So, those are my oppositions to it. Okay. I thank you for your Thanks. time. Thank, thank you. you very thank much. You. Anybody else got anything? Right. We have a motion from Mr. Harris. To deny. Second by Mr. Waskin. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Thank you, Thank you very much. Okay, next on your agenda is commercial development. This is in Mr. Gary Talbot's area. Dollar General's preliminary flight. Preliminary site plan. They got a lot of Dollar General up there, huh? Well, yeah. Country Matter. Is Country Matter deferred? I don't no. know. I don't think so. Country Matter's okay, never mind. You just no. skipped that one. Mm -mm. Did? No. Well, I'll go no. back to it. We skipped it. Well, we just did Walker Properties, which was E. Right. Now we own F. So we own F. That's good. Right. Yeah, but he said, I thought he just said a dollar general. I did. I did. Okay. Sam messed it all up. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. We'll Fine. let him slide. Gary, you got another? Oh, yeah, 10 nights. <laughs> he talks about it. In the winter, it's all concrete metal. It's in my district, but winter. No, it's right. a new development. Hook, hook us up. Hook us up. Okay. All right, you ready now, Mr. Sam? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Okay, next on the agenda is a subdivision with improvements. This is Country Meadows Preliminary Plat. This is in Mr. Jeff Hard's area. <clears throat> Off of Runica Road, or located on Runica Road. It is a recommendation of the Living Affairs Planning Commission to approve the preliminary plat for Country Meadows. Anybody got a magnifying glass? Ed, everything on this meets the art. Yes, sir. Sam? Yes, sir. So this is just preliminary, Sam. They still got to do all the drainage yeah. impact study and everything. They got to go through oh, everything. Good, Once you do this, then the drainage impact study. How big are those lots? I can't read them little bitty numbers. 60, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I think it's half for some cheaters or something because I can't see anything. Look, I got glasses on. I can barely hang with that number. All right, so since this is just preliminary, guys, yeah, I'll make it. Who's that's yours? I got, I'll make a motion to accept it. I'll second it. Uh, motion by Mr. King, second by Mr. Mack. All in favor? Uh, uh, all opposed? Motion passed. Next on the agenda is the commercial development for Dollar General. <laughs> this is in Mr. Gary Talbot's area, off of Springfield Road, right around Runica Road. Uh, it is a recommendation of the Livingston Parish Planning Commission to approve the preliminary site plan for Dollar General. I'd like to make a motion to, to defer. Defer? Defer it. Defer. I'll second that. Is there, I mean... Yeah, because because the last Dollar General that I saw built is about six foot taller than the people next door. In my district. On our road. It's draining properly. Now, on their defense, it's draining good. I understand, good. I understand, really I understand, I understand but I, I, Sam, was this, was I'd like to go look at it and and, and see what the elevation is. Was the recommendation of the, of the uh, 
planning yes, commission to approve it? Yes. Sir. But we, we need to look at these because they, they uh now I might say, Gary, you do you know where the uh where they just put that sewer lift station in right there on the corner of that's where it's going. Okay. There's not that many So there's not any there's not any no. there's not any residents around it. No. Well I guess I guess my deal, Sam, is is I'm looking I'm looking at the dry detention basin that they got in this thing. And and y'all, if you got a Dollar General in your district, oh, you ought to go look at the dry detention forest they got up there. <laughs> Because they're not going to hold as much water as they designed for because they don't maintain. They're not supposed to hold any. Well, I understand. But no, I mean, what, I mean, they're supposed to they're supposed to be detention in a rain. But what I'm telling you is, that the basis of the way they maintain them, we ought to double the size of their detention just because. Hey, you mean because they're filling up with weeds and <laughs> they're bushes? They're filling and up trees? with weeds and bushes yeah. and trees. So yeah, even I mean, though they're lining them with. With no, uh, they're not lying. Sod, they are. They did mine. Well, right? they're with sod, but that doesn't stop the No, it doesn't. Grow. But it makes it look good to begin with, and then they got to make time. I like to defer. All right. And I say that. Uh, that's my, I, I should have. But y'all just had planning last night, right? That's yeah. Correct. Okay. We didn't get time to do it. That's correct. All right. We have a motion to defer this and a second. Any discussion? You defer it without a date, it's dead. Uh oh. I was going to say, when? Defer, defer, to the, the, defer it to the. the, the uh, 20 seconds? 20 seconds. Yeah, 20 seconds. All right. I won't be in town. Yeah, we will. We got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Cancel that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. That's no, it. Right. Thanks. All right. Item 17. Still you, Mr. Sam. Yep. Really? <laughs> River Ridge. Subdivision. All right. Montour de development. That's also a Mr. Bob Harris district. Uh, we talked about that today. We did. Uh, it's a recommendation of the planning commission or planning department I'm sorry, to accept uh, the road into the parish. And I don't know, Miss Sandy, if we need to do it in two different resolutions. Uh, it's been done both ways. It's really up to ever how you want to do it. We need to accept it and then we'll release the bond. Okay, I'll, I'll offer a motion to two? accept it. Yeah, we can do it with one. Okay. Uh, and, and the only reason I'm doing that is because of what you sent me today. Right. And I understand it. Right. Mr. Bubba had a little concern in some of the uh, off road ditching, uh, just to let you other guys know, but uh, that's all private. Maintained. maintained. It won't yeah. be maintained by our department or gravity drainage uh, the way we just, the way that they designed it. So it'll be privately maintained and it's their baby. Did you report that yet? And he even so says it's something. If you want to, you know, how you want to handle it, whether it's two motions or one motion. It can be combined. It can be combined. Can be combined. Can be combined. Can be combined. Do we have any discussion on this from anyone? All right. I have a motion to accept. A second. Mr. Harris is good. Put the motion on. Accept and release the bond. Accept right. and release the bond. Right. Mr. Mike, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. So we're bringing this road into the maintenance system, right? Brand new road. Brand new road. Brand new road designed up to the standard. It certainly is. As long as it's up to the standard, we're all right with it. <laughs> yep. And this new standard that's in place, is, these roads are going to hold up much better. Much better. All right. Dig it. Uh, Mr. Sam. I think you're done, Mr. Sam. No, no. Uh, one, can, we move 20 up? can we move 20 up for him? Yeah. Yep. That's the one you want to do? Yes. Yeah. All right. We'll go to item 20. So we release the bond and Okay. Mr. Sam. Just like the point. Like yes. the point. Yes, sir. We made a visit. We made two visits out there. The road's in great shape. I mean, it's one of the best critical roads I've ever rode on. It's big. It's long. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's huge. It's what? 1.9 no, miles. That meets the ordinance exactly. <laughs> uh, towards the end of it, I mean, it, it's about 2.5 overall, everything. I'm talking about the gravel and the blacktop. Blacktop was just laid in our program two years ago. Uh, there's 35 residents out there, some homes, some camps. But both gravel and blacktop is in great shape. Nothing on the gravel road. I think they got one, uh, one 
home that's being developed now in that 1.8 miles. Nothing else. But like I say, when you get to the end of it, the remainder of it is blacktop and there's 36 houses. Thank you. So, I want to make a motion to accept that into the fire system. No, I'm second. Second. I'm second. I, I want some Wait a second. Okay. Now, I, I'd like to make a substitute motion to accept it in the parish maintenance system with the understanding that the 1.8 mile gravel road will be 1.8 miles of gravel road forever. I, I would like, like to say forever. I, I think that's unfair. Why would you want to do that, Mr. Dow? Because 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 he that road wasn't brought, that the road, the road wasn't asphalted. And, and beforehand, and the taxpayers of this parish don't need to pay to asphalt somebody's road. Well, I'm they can take my taxes. I'm paying on a state. I, I'm not going. I'm not going to <laughs> support forever. Uh, if, well, if, if, what, what may happen 20 years from now? We don't know. He made a substitute motion. You need to see if there's a second to that. Otherwise, there's no discussion. Does the motion have a second. Is it going to be fail? forever? Or you want to put a time limit on? Uh, I think it's got to be forever. Mm. It's a long, long time. time. Oh, yeah. I'll second that. I got a question. Okay. If, if a road is brought into the parish maintenance system, does that mean it's going to be blacktop? No. The parish maintenance? Yeah. You could, you could one day blacktop. But, but it would have we don't have to phone. just because it's accepted that's into the maintenance system. That's left up to the council? That's left up to the council. We have to put it on the priority list, right, before that could happen? It's got to be put on priority list. Right. And it's got to be evaluated and, and, and scored. That's the way we do it. Right. We, Mr. Sam, then there's got to be funds available to do that. That's, that's correct. That's exactly yeah. right. Definitely. Uh, look, I agree. everything y'all said is absolutely it true. Is. I don't it disagree is. with that one, one bit. But the fact of the matter is, if anybody builds a house on that 1.8 miles, they're going to buy a discounted lot, and then we're going to, the other taxpayers of this parish are going to improve their property values. And that's not fair. I, I do agree with you on that, Gary, but I, do, I disagree. What if you've got 100 houses that gets built down through there now? Well, then, then let the 100 houses pool up their money and asphalt it, and then we'll maintain it forever. <laughs> but, but, I'm, I'm not part of that. Let me just tell you something. I'm listening. Go ahead. There, I mean, it costs. It costs, but somewhere between twenty and thirty thousand a lot for improvements when you build a subdivision. So what you're telling me is we're gonna we're gonna take that road in. We could possibly asphalt it, and the taxpayers of this parish are gonna spend the money to asphalt 1.8 miles of road that some developer is gonna benefit from at the later date. If the developer wants a road asphalted, asphalt. And it's not the developer that's going to benefit. It's, it's the, the people, people that's living on the road that pay the taxes exactly. that's going to benefit. Yeah, but they and drive again, on every right. parish road around here. It's not about the road you live yeah, on. It's about the The money road. is collected to overlay roads. There's a priority list, and there's a list of requirements that they go by to prioritize whether you should be overlaying. Yeah, and, if there's funding available... And we follow the right system that we decide to follow. There's nothing wrong with overlaying this road one day. If, if, we, if we can. If, if, the, if the road's not in the money. system, I mean, and we're taking in the system as a gravel road, we should never use taxpayer dollars to upgrade. I guess that's one man's opinion. Let's that's, vote. I mean, that's... I, I, oh, I. <laughs> Mr. Chris, I just want to clarify this because this is... I don't want it to go out there. Y'all were saying that um, you add roads to the priority list. You you don't add it. The engineer, whoever y'all hire to be really the road engineer, y'all add roads for consideration. To Correct. Put it on to the property. Exactly right. right. Just want to make that. And Billy and he goes out and looks at it and gives us a so recommendation. So he can pick any of them off of anything that's in the maintenance system. Y'all just submit with based on the criteria, and then right. he goes. And so as as good as that gravel road is, is the chances of it getting blacktop <laughs> over roads that has blacktops in it. Just slim like, to know. Yeah. Yeah. Chairman, he called the question on the substitute made, motion. Slim okay. To you asked me to go evaluate it, and I went out there and I looked at it. Well, we Thank appreciate you, that. Yeah. I don't think you'll ever have homes built on that. Right. Because it's right I, swamp in the middle of all the right. Swamp. Okay. Swamp so, pepper down. So, so we got to have a There's a, that's uh, just a little FYI. You need to vote on the substitute motion. All right. Substitute motion by Mr. Talbot was to accept it, but not overlay the 1.8 miles of gravel road. Exactly. And I'll 
He's second. I have a discussion. Oh, Regarding that. Right, well, wait, no, he's wait. called the question on that motion. So if you want to object to that, then there's a vote on whether you continue the debate. Well, no, I, um, I, well, wait, wait. You want to mo motion, uh, file a motion to continue the debate? Because he's called the question on it. Yeah. Then you need to make that motion and get a second. No, uh, we, that's okay. We, we can call for the vote. Uh, uh, call right. for the vote. All right. I just have some. Mr. Sam? If Miss Sandy can, what we would, what I would like to do is qualify those numbers at 1.8 of gravel and the remainder of the blacktop. I don't think that's necessary. Well, it is when you, 20 years from now, Shane, what we're going through, as far as public works is concerned, we go to a road and some of it's undeveloped, but it shows it on a plat, saying that road goes on through, and these people want the parish to develop that road. We don't develop roads. We maintain. It. So what you're saying is it may be 1.689 like or something. To, I would like okay. to miss saying or you guys to, in your resolution to qualify the length of that road. Just the length just of that road. Sure. Oh, that's fine. Kind of like we did Averitt's road back in when 25 it went years from now, stop, you won't have a problem sure. with determining sense. what you need to do. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. How much is asphalt? Because we yeah, have problems. So, so much is my, gravel. How my much substitute motion is to take in a 1.8 mile gravel road and a 0.6 mile asphalt road. I'm going to give Miss Sandy uh, what you have. That's right. <laughs> I think it's 1.9. not giving it to you. I think it's 0.5 asphalt. Yeah. Oh, we got people. Well, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get to y'all. Yep. Yep. Before the vote. Well, I, I don't think they can. We've never had a public meeting. Right oh, yeah. Public she wants input public yeah. input on the substitute motion or the main motion? Hmm? She wants public input on the substitute motion or the main motion? On, on the substitute motion, y'all want to speak? Yes. Okay. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. That should tell you everything about the road. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty well, sure it's 1.9 of gravel, gravel and 0.5 of asphalt. I think I, I went and I went and wrote it myself. I just didn't want to. I just want to. I right. should. Okay. Ma'am, if y'all like to come up and speak. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Lynn McMorris. I live at 15799 Cypress Point Lane in Prince Settlement. The, uh, the road that's in question. I would just like to say that, as I understand it, there is a process existing in place now that we have followed for many years where if someone wants to get a road paved, they apply to get the road paved and, and the merits of that is, is determined at that time. This would seem to be a deviation from the regular process in saying, okay, we're going to take this road, but it'll never be paved. I just don't see a basis for deviating from the, from the normal process. We've got 36 people living back there now. We've got uh, you know, school buses and everything else running down there that have to use that road. We're not asking y'all to pave that now, but I think it would be wrong to deviate from the usual process and say this road will never be paved because we don't know if there's gonna be still 36 or 77 families living down there in five years. There were about five families living there when I bought in and there's 36 now. So the, the subdivision is continuing to develop. And uh, I just think it would be wrong to deviate from the usual process and say that, that this road will never be paved. Not asking you to do it now, but we ask you not to say never. Thank you. Thank you, well said. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. I'd like to make a comment. Taking this road in at all is a deviation from the process since we created the new standard. How is that? Because I, 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 they how, said how, it meant the standard. I'd rather leave the standard because it's not overlaid. That ain't true. The standard. That is not true. Oh, 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 wait, wait. One at a time. One at a time. Everybody get their chance to speak. Uh, not true. What is the standard for a new road? To accept the road through the parish maintenance system, there is a list of requirements. What is and the this road meets it to What is the mind. standard for a new road? Does does the parish does the do the new rules allow for a gravel road to be brought into the parish maintenance system? Yes. I think it does. Yes, I'm pretty sure yes. it does. Is that right, Mr. Can Sam? We, can we build a new road that's gravel and accept it? Can we overlay? No, can we build a new road and accept it? We don't gravel? build roads. 
Well, I think the we have got a resolution that you don't put any more gravel roads in the parish. Yeah, we've got a res We don't take gravel roads in. So what I'm telling you is for us to take this current. is a deviation of the norm. Yeah, I think that's And so the only reason I'm quantifying or qualifying the no overlay is so that we don't violate an ordinance that we already had. I, all I can tell you is, is I'm sorry for interrupting, Jeff, but I looked in the Muni Code and looked at the current criteria for accepting roads into the parish maintenance system, and it says you can accept this gravel road into the parish maintenance system. I mean, I, I don't know if there's a resolution ever passed that ain't documented, but the current one says you can take the gravel road in. It says it's got to have so six, so foot, six inches of uh, clay gravel uh, and three inches of wash gravel, and it's got to be so wide. It's got to have ditches on both sides and all this good stuff. And my real question is, is why why don't you want to take it in? I mean, are you sitting here saying that the only roads that well, can no, ever be taken in your are the roads? Oh, 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 hey, 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 one at a time. One at a time. I'm not. My, I don't mind. I, my motion was accepted, but my motion was to qualify the acceptance of it and with the, leaving it gravel. And the people never have the right to ever have their road overlaid. Let me just say. Let me say one thing, Mr. Talbert. I, I, with all due respect, <coughs> you know, you, you want to make a motion to bring this road in, but don't overlay it. When one year ago you brought to this council to overlay a quarter of a mile to put on the road list a quarter of a mile road in your district to be overlaid with it's gravel now and we supported you I, to do that i agree and when was that road brought into the parish maintenance system when was it brought in well but you but you when was, you asked, it, when, when was it brought in the system in 2005 before we set a stand right but now oh. you want to see it overlaid and, it, and it's going to be evaluated but you don't want the people to get theirs overlaid I don't want to bring a road in after we create, create a standard. I don't want to bring another road in that doesn't meet the standard. Period. But yours is okay, though. All right. Do we, do we have anybody else need to no. speak on something that hasn't vote. been talked oh, about? Never touched that. Call for a vote. All right. We're going to call for the vote on the, the so substitute motion. Had a motion by Mr. Talbert, second, second by Mr. King. And this motion is to do what? To take it in, take but it never in. overlay the gravel portion of it. Correct? Right. I didn't. All right. right. Call for the vote. All right. Ms. Sandy, let's call for the vote in visual on this. Mr. Keene. Yes. Mr. Harris. No. Mr. Talbert. Yes. Mr. Lovell. No. Mr. Averett. No. Mr. Mike. No. Mr. R. No. Mr. Wascom. No. Mr. Okay. Gurley House is absent. <clears throat> All right, now we. Right, oh, now no, the original motion. motion. Never is a long. Okay, oh, I'll I'll make a motion we just want to get that out there and get well, it. Well, you already had a motion for that. Yeah, yeah. we done brought that. We up. already had the motion. Who was the second? We had a second on that. We didn't have a second. I second. Love a second. Thank you. Love a second. Love a second. All right, this is to bring it into the Paris maintenance system. Can I make an alternate motion? Hold on. Yeah. I'd like to. I'd like to. I support his motion, but I'd like to add two more roads to that. Tiger Lane and Connolly Court to that to those to bring them into the maintenance system with that motion. That we don't have a report to bring those into and we don't have to bring those not, that's not on the agenda. Into the maintenance Can we system and add these two roads. Now, and I'll put that in the form of a motion. We've already denied them, took them back. Well, I mean, he gets a second and can be considered. Is there a second? John, let's bring we, let's we bring, don't have a report yet. We voted to get a report. You got a report? You got a report, report from you know? Tiger Lane and Courtney Lane? Yeah. It's not on the agenda either. So, I mean, I let's, think. Let's, 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 let's talk about that another day. All right, day. no yeah. second then. It dies. All right, All right. Back to the main motion. All right. Main motion to accept Cypress Point into maintenance system. All right. All right. Mr. Harris was our second. Call for the vote individual, please. Mr. King. Yes. Mr. Harris. Yes. Mr. Talbert. No. Mr. Lobel. Yes. Mr. Avery. Yes. Mr. Mike. Yes. Mr. R. Yes. Mr. Wascom. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now we Thank just you, have to sure any of you take in if we want to do something with them other than we All right. Uh, uh, let's move on to item 18. This is uh, the annual appointment of the Livingston Parish official journal. journal. Uh, I think uh, Livingston Parish News would be our choice. I need a motion for that. I'll make a motion. Motion by Mr. Avery. Second so, by Mr. Lobel. Is Mr. Mr. McKee, you want to speak on that? <laughs> sure. Good evening, Council, Chairman, members. 
Uh, thank you. Uh, I can answer any questions you have of me. Uh, I just came up here to be here to answer. I only have one question since the flood. I know we used to get two, two, two in circulation a week, and I missed the, the two. Uh, and I know we've talked about it. And yes, sir. Is that ever going to come back? Uh, we are still in recovery mode. I know you are. Everybody, now, everybody else, is. Uh, we are looking for the advertising revenue to do that, yes. Okay. It is in the plan. I can't give you a date. I promised some people some dates. It didn't work out. No, don't promise yet. a date. That's the wrong way to do it. Is, but, is, go ahead. Well, we, we have a problem with our agenda. We... Like tonight, they already calling for the other agenda in mm -hmm. two weeks. And so we're having to do addendums and a lot of other things to get it published in time to meet. Yes, sir. And whereas and when we were having to, you know, I don't know if maybe your online would qualify as. That's actually, uh, before I came here tonight, that was something that I, that was a question I proposed of uh, the council for the Louisiana Press Association. You state your name. Oh, oh. excuse me. Uh, Jeff McHugh, David Jr., uh, 1474 Willow Oak Drive. That's in Denham Spring. So, uh, yes, I posed that question of him. His name is Scott Sternberg. Uh, I'm waiting for an answer. Uh, at this time, uh, the law does state publish. Uh, it does not say print. Now, uh, we all know how laws work. Uh, I'm interested to see what, what I get back from him. Moody might have some opinions on that one. I know it's been discussed. I don't know of anybody that's gone that way yet, but I think it's going to go that way. For well, everything. Well, I mean, the deal. I mean, the deal is purely to, based on the fact that y'all are subbing out your printing because your press, I guess, flooded. Yeah. Uh, yes. Four and, and so four and a half. Four, so, so so we by one. What is it? One thirty or something like that on Monday have to have our agenda in. Well. Y'all y'all all know there have been plenty of times when Monday's a holiday, we have to have our agenda. On the Thursday, you know, sometimes Thursday. before we come to this meeting, we've got a preliminary agenda ready. And then when, when the meeting's over, the girls ask, is there anything y'all want to add? And that's it. You know, and so it was, you know, that's why we're looking for, you know, answers to find out if there's any way that, you know, I, I don't know what the drop dead deadline is, but right now it's Monday at 1.30 or something like that. So the question is, is there, is there some additional consideration that we could receive to give us more time to put it in? Right now, uh, you have to tell people to call. it could be as much as a month before they can get something on the agenda. Yeah. Right. Really? Yeah. For me. It's not a grave hardship, but it's, it's you know, when we were loose, used to being able to get it in on the next Friday or something, mm -hmm. we losing a whole week a lot of time. No, I, I, I absolutely understand it is something uh, that we have talked about. If uh, I know that my sister uh, informed me today, uh, she is the one who takes those, uh, that she usually tries to give you ladies until 3 on Monday. Uh, we, uh, we do like to w work with you all as best we can because I know that everybody has hardships right now. I get that. Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, we, we are already giving some consideration. Uh, if y'all, I understand that there's a, 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 spe a special procedure here since y'all are always on Thursday. Um, I'm sure that we could uh, figure something out, push it until five. Well, it, and we want you to get the, the right answer on publish because that would right. cure everything. Sure. You know? I know if, trust me, online, if online publish would, would yeah. be sufficient, that would, that would. Well, uh, make no mistake, I'd love that too. Uh, it would make it would make things a lot easier uh, on us. I know that uh, as a community newspaper, we do a lot of our stuff online first. Uh, it would make it would make things a lot easier, not just for y'all but for us, because uh, we could start actually laying out the legals uh, well before we got them, or well before they were supposed to publish. So uh, it is something that's being considered. Uh, I'm looking into it because y'all know uh, we had to go to once a week, so I'm doing my best to get the news out with my team online first. Uh, and then put it in the paper for those who still read it, uh, which is substantial, actually. Uh, believe it or not, we kept all of our subs and some uh, during the flood, which I was very happy about. Uh, but uh, I do understand what y'all are going through. Uh, I know both of you have voiced your concerns to me before. It's something I'm looking into. Yes, sir? Is there a goal? I mean, I know how plans change, you know, and you kind of hope for the best, but is there any kind of hope or goal of when you may be able to print two newspapers again. Uh, I mean, end of the year? Looking at two months, three months, six months? Uh, what I, y'all looking at? I did, that, I did that already. I'm afraid I'm not doing it again. Yeah. But it's thank just a goal. It's just a uh, goal. Hey, uh, you know, goal, uh, first goal was January 1st, and that didn't work out. 
Uh, at this point, I would, uh, I'd love to say uh, you're for the flood, but right now a lot of our local advertisers uh, outside of some hospitals and such things uh, just aren't ready. Um, and, you know, I'd still have to be able to supply two newspapers instead of one. What, what can we do to, to move our day, day, say, back a day instead of just a couple hours? Um, I think that would help these ladies a lot. I, I know, I do understand. Um, that's not, uh, that would be a process question, and it would be something that I would have to confer with my sister about. Uh, I, I don't want to say that it's impossible. Um, if, if it's simply an agenda, uh, that's easily done. If it's an agenda with ordinances, that becomes more complicated. Uh, it, but as I said, it's not impossible. It's not outside the realm of doable. Yeah, one, one day I think would be a big hit with him, Miss Sandy. Well, we appreciate that y'all are still here. The one I mean, day you know, because Mondays is usually the holidays on Mondays, and man, that really throws big kinks when, when the holidays are Friday and Monday. Ooh. I mean, guys, when you go through Dental Springs and see the things that have disappeared oh, yeah. and more coming down every day, just to even have the the local newspaper still alive and kicking is a big bonus to me. I get the paper on Thursday and I read it before I come up here so I can see how bad they talked about me in the paper. You know? That's crazy. Shit, I read mine online. Huh? I don't. I'm not good. But I can't even find stuff online. No, I'm kidding. But but we appreciate it. Yeah. Any more? Anything else? Uh, I'll just I'll just say that uh, I'll leave my card with you, ladies, if you'd like to uh, give me a call uh, next week. We can if we can work out some kind of process. To Thank you. Out. Thank you. Appreciate it. We need a motion to uh, yes. Uh, well, appoint a, a motion to accept. I, I'll make the motion that we appoint Dennis I, Springs News as the I official chair for Legacy Parish. Oh my bad, Council. Yeah, yeah. Jeff oh, Eagle already I'm made sorry. the motion. Tab second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Pass. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item 19, I'm going to pull that from the agenda. I've already got Ms. Jennifer to answer questions for me on that. Okay. Uh, item 21, District Attorney. No report. report. No report. Mm -hmm. uh, 22. <laughs> sure, Chris. Pretty sure. Ordinance Committee. Shane? Yeah, we're going to have an Ordinance Committee meeting this coming <coughs> Thursday, report? which is, well, yeah, the 15th. At uh, six o'clock, and uh, we're gonna hash out three very <coughs> important topics, and we certainly would welcome all the input we can get to help us get these right. And uh, all I got to say. What about time, Shane? Six. Six. Six, well, six on the fifteenth. And, and yeah. if you know, I didn't really get ask y'all guys if y'all wouldn't be available vacations and all this kind of stuff, but. We're just going to meet and talk about some stuff and try to work on improving and modifying and are you going to want to work on the things that we've yes sir. yes talked sir. about yes okay. sir good if you can make it that'd be great no i'm going to fish we're just going to okay i understand <laughs> 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 it's going to be in this, uh, this council chambers that's right mr talbot anything from the finance committee? finance committee had a little meeting today at 5 30. Um, basically you know you get to i don't know if y'all get the emails from the Dennis spring news update every morning you know and Earlier this week, I got an update in the morning and I read it. It talked about, you know, the drop in sales tax revenue. And then it went on to talk about, the, you know, how much additional money we collected this year. I had a couple of people call me about, uh, you know, the road overlay program since we had collected so much money in the road fund. So we put an item on the agenda. Jennifer came, actually Jennifer came to my office today and, and visited with me for a little while. Then, and at the meeting, she talked about where we were on the road fund. Uh, what 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 we had facing us in the future? Uh, we got a couple bridges that Sam has been in discussion with DOTD about that they're in pretty bad shape that we might have to replace. Uh, you know, FEMA study. I know some of y'all talked to Mark. FEMA's doing some evaluation on some roads that they that, you know roads that were underwater for a period of time. They might you know pay up to forty percent you know to replace. Uh, we've got you know y'all we. Y we had talked about the NRCS money with respect to some drainage stuff on some navigable waterways that we've got some match on. It could be up to $10 million worth of work. It could be about a million dollars worth of match. So there's a lot of stuff that's coming down the pipe that's going to that's gonna affect that road fund. But but in a nutshell, basically what she told us today is that they plan on, 
you know, after all that information comes down, we know what we're staying to do about $5 million worth of road work, which they project will probably happen in 2018. The planning stages actually might start this year, but because we were through with the last road work and we don't have a contractor on, on, on board anymore, that the engineering firm would have to do the evaluation. We'd have to write the specs and then go out for bids. So that process would take some time after we, after FEMA gave us a list of what roads they would consider that they had would help pay for. So all that plays into consideration. We can't start working on a road that might be that that, that they might consider to pay for because then they said we started before we got the proceed notice. <coughs> they wouldn't evaluate it. So so basically that's kind of where we're at. Uh, so I just kind of called the meeting so we could get that information and your, your constituents would know it now because it's kind of in the public instead of, you know, them reading the paper and you getting a bunch of phone calls individually having to address, you know, stuff that you don't really, you, you don't, you couldn't even speak to it. You know that we've got so much money in the road fund, but we don't know, you know, we don't declare it surplus and we don't declare when we can spend it. You know, we can just ratify what's, you know, asked of us to do. So I thought the meeting was good today that she came and gave us some direction for us in the future and what we might be looking at. So I thought that was possible. I agree. I agree. Comments on that? That's way to do it. It was a very positive meeting. I, it was very informative and I enjoyed it. It was good. Billy, you, you're going to be running this thing probably if we do a road, road project uh, program. Time frame from the time we tell you how much money you have, do you to evaluate what you need to do? Uh, well, we kind of started prioritizing stuff already before making the list, I guess, back in March all the time. So we kind of got that done a little bit. But we have to remove roads due to getting funded from FEMA or other. Right. We have to uh, kind of adjust it. And you know, without knowing a dollar amount, we didn't want to go forward. But yeah, there's no need. Days. Right. So once we get that, uh, we probably take 30 days to punch off recommendations. Here's the roads. And once y'all say, yeah, these are the So we could probably, if, if, if they get their information in, we could plan a little bit this year, uh, you know, 50 days maybe. I don't know when you might hear back from FEMA, uh, maybe kind of 50 days. Uh, let's start planning for next year. That way, whenever next year rolls around, we'll have everything ready. You know. Okay. Well, Ms. Jennifer told us, I think, that, that most of the evaluation by FEMA is done. They just haven't received the paperwork on Yeah, it. but it just, but from the time frame you're looking at, the, it's I mean, probably, probably going to be, be it's going to be an 18 road program. Work this year, but, That's right. But, but a lot of the legwork will be done. So you'll be able to hit the ground running early. Probably bid it at the end of the year and start right after the first year. Okay. Well, that's what the people want to know. I, that's, you know, that's it in a nutshell. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Uh, item 23, councilman comments. Any comments on anything? We finally got a pretty Saturday. The fireman's poker run is this Saturday. If you want to go run on, around on the rivers. It's going to uh, be nice. Based out of 10 Lizzie's. So uh, it supports the fire department, Springfield Key, and, and a lot of local businesses. So go have a good time. Thank I you. Got, uh, I got one thing on that uh, tab. But uh, I Mr. Went, Sobel, Mr. Mr. I'm sorry. Mr. Bubbles for me? No. Nope. Oh, yeah. Tab and I went to a waterway commission meeting last night at Ascension. And it uh, looks like a lot of good things is happening on the river. It was a joint meeting between Livingston, Livingston and Ascension, and Ascension. kind of letting each other know what's going on and uh, it's kind of what each other's thinking and doing. And so it, uh, yeah, I think good things are happening and we're all yep. on the same page. I just want to thank all of y'all. Uh -huh. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bubba, we, we're glad you're here with us, buddy. I'm sorry. No, that's not right. hard to be okay. All right. I just lost my father, so every one of these guys was with me <laughs> and helped. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I have. Well, we, appreci we appreciate we appreciate that you brought him by here and let us yeah, uh, yeah, give that yeah. honor to him because that was that was a great thing. Earth the journey, you're gonna have to pass him around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a motion to adjourn by uh, Mr. Wasserman. Mm -hmm. Second. Second by Mr. Lobel. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Adjourn.